I think the story of Detroit, so far anyway, has had three chapters. It started out, chapter one, with amazing creativity and entrepreneurship. People like Henry Ford came in and did different things. They broke the mold. We were imaginative and entrepreneurial and took risks and had original thought. And as a result, we prospered. It put us on the map. We built this amazing city and gorgeous architecture, and that's the reason we're all here in this room. Then chapter two, the unfortunate chapter, the dark ages, comes along and what do we do? We get away from those roots. We start thinking about entitlement and bureaucracy and systems and controls. Instead of building great things, we manage cost and we cut control over our people. And what happened? We suffered. And we suffered big. So today, where are we? Today, we're at the beginning of chapter three. Each of us has the choice. Choice number one, we can point fingers, we can complain about it, we can long for a good old days gone by. The second choice, and the one that I hope you take, is one of grabbing onto it and saying, we have an unbelievable opportunity. We have a big blank canvas with the city of Detroit. What a privilege in one's lifetime to have the opportunity to rebuild a great American city. So instead of looking at all the negatives, let's, grab, yeah, let's acknowledge them for sure. But let's latch onto that opportunity to do something special. And I really believe this is it. This is your moment, this is my moment, this is our moment. This is our moment to make a difference. This is our moment to unleash the creativity that's already inside all of us. This is our moment to take the challenges head on in the city and this region and rebuild it and make it a place that we're proud of and that we can hand down to our children in a better way. This is our moment to get creative and this is our moment to change the world.